What's up, y'all? So I'm here with this beautiful hot pink look. I want to do a fun look because this quarantine is very depressing. So expressing myself with bright colors, just fun looks is really making my life a lot better, girl. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with our silk makeup. Remember this makeup line from years ago? I found this in Target like months ago. And this is their brow kit. The color is extra dark. But it's actually more of a brown color. It's really not as black as I feel like it should be. So it's like a gel consistency on one side. And it's like a powder on the other side. So I mainly just use the gel side. Because I like my eyebrows to be pretty much dark as they can be. Oh y'all see this stain on my eyelids, y'all. I done scrub my eyelids so much. These colors are so powerful. I couldn't get it off. And I was trying a different look before I made this video. So please ignore my stained eyelids. I promise you they're clean. So we're going to take our Juvia's Place Concealer in color 13. I love using this as my base. Um, and you see in my other videos, I'm really, really a huge fan of this for my eyeshadow. Not so much my face. I don't really like the consistency as a under eye concealer, but it works really, really well for my eyelids. So after we apply, you want to always make sure you blend it out really good, nice and evenly. Because sometimes when you don't do that, it could crease up on you and kind of ruin your look. So just make sure it's blended out. Now I'm going to take the concealer that I like using to actually arch my eyebrows with. I say arch, but clean them up. And this is the LA Girl in Fawn because it's closer to a highlight shade that I like without it looking too bright. Something that give me that healing Me I don't want to tire So me I light up the fire so we're going to go into this P. Louise primer and I'm going to use this in rumor 2. I put it on my hand first because I like it to heat up a little bit and it also suggests that you do that as an instructions on the back of the packaging. So it really helps a lot because sometimes putting this directly on your eyelid from the actual packaging is a bit too wet and it doesn't blend out as well as it could do. So it's best to just put it on your hands first and then apply it. Put you on the product, send me feeling bad. I'll be looking like the nigga that you wish you had. Then my girls, then my coming, then my looking bad. Man, I'm rolling with my niggas and we moving mad. So me light on the pump, put it up till the morning. Then I know that your mind so they be stalling. And I'll be always there to answer whenever you're calling. And you always now this is where my eyelids got beat up, girl. <laughs> it got beat up by these colors. These colors are so pigmented, it's sickening, and I'm doing this with no effort at all. All I'm doing is taking that hot pink from the berries palette and I'm putting that in my crease area. Now I'm creating a shape because I prefer doing my eyeshadow in the shape of my actual eyeball or my eye shape because to me it just looks better. I don't think my eyes would look right if I did like an oval shape when my eyes aren't shaped like that. So I just prefer doing it the shape of my actual eye shape. You don't have to do this if your eyes are shaped differently. This is just what I do. We're going to go back into that palette and we're going to take that light paint that's on top of the hot paint that we use and we're just going to apply this on top just to blend this out a little bit and this is going to make it look more flawless and more blended than it does right now. Now. 
to me and let up the fire. Yeah, I love these two palettes. This is Crayon Case, and this tan is just my ultimate bra bone color. I can't help it. It just goes with everything. So we're going to put that right on top of that lighter pink. Original, original, but mano. It's V-Kills. I put you on the products and me feeling bad. I'll be looking like a nigga that to wish you hard. Now, here comes the fun part. We're gonna take that deep color right in the palette right there, and we're gonna apply this in our crease with a small, tiny, tiny brush. I'm not sure what brush this is, but it's just small and circular. And we're gonna put that right in our crease area. As you can see, I'm still going in the same shape of my eye. So long as you keep the same pattern, the same shape, the same technique throughout the entire look, then you can definitely do this yourself. It's all it takes is a little bit of practice. Now this part actually takes a lot of time because I'm not necessarily swiping the color on. I'm more so packing it on and that's how you're going to get the most out of your color when you pack it on versus swiping it on. Me wanna get that feeling Something that give me that healing Me I don't want to tire So me I light up the fire I Yeah, let my want a bad man put a ring on it yeah. You are the only one me I really gotta think of Trust me when I say You are the only one I feel for Why I'm for me, girl, let my really try confuse me For the money, me not flip on your head you, you got a thing that go Chris for a man no, no. I got the money so they sing for me, girl right, wow. Why I'm for me, girl, she a why I'm for me, man yeah. Now if you lose control You got the fire can cool, let's get the groove on I on the cruise control, let the vibes come true, let's make a move on I, them really wanna stress up on me Bad man, them really can't stress up on me I, really wanna test man for him Bad man, them really wanna test me man wanna for him Me wanna get him. that feeling Something that give me that healing Me, I don't want to tire So me, I light up the fire Me wanna get that feeling so next we're going to take that P. Louise base again and we're going to apply that just strictly on our eyelid. Just make sure you just go on the lid area. If you have to, just get your finger and see how far your eyeball really goes up in that area. That's the best way I could describe it. Some people close their eyes and let the primer touch the top to tell them where to stop at. I kind of do it the ghetto way and just see where my eyeball is and I just keep it in that area only. This also may take a little bit of time because sometimes the primer can dry out on you and it's best to put this on when it's mostly packed up all on your brush because it's just easier to lay out that way. Man, I light you up, you will turn me on. Man, I play my song, you will sing along. It got me elevated like I hit the bomb. 007, man, I James Bond. Me when I get that. The next color we're gonna take is go back into that dark color we use in our crease, and we're gonna put that on the outer part of our eye. We're just gonna fill that in. As you see, I'm doing nothing serious. Just go ahead and fill that in. And we're going to go in another color and go on top of this, which is going to be like a deeper purple color, just to give it a bit more depth because I want it to be a little more darker on the outer side than it is now with this color. And I did not want to use the color black. So next, we're going to the Violet by Juvia's Place and take this deep purple color and we're going to add it on top. Boom! As you can see, it really made it really, really dark. And I love how this came out on the outer corner because I didn't want to use black. I feel like because I don't know what I'm doing, I'm not a makeup artist, I always go for black when I could use other colors. Next, we're going to go into the Berries palette again and take this beautiful hot pink. It's more of a glitter version of the color we already used. And we're going to put that in the middle of our eyelid. Really wanna test man for him. Bad man, them really wanna test me man wanna for him. Me wanna get that feeling. Something that give me that healing. Me, I don't want to tire. So me, I light up the fire. 
me wanna get that feeling Something that give me that healing Me I don't want to tire So me Let go It's the original, original Original, original, bad man Yes, y'all, some more glitter. I've been so into this glitter and colors. I think it's because of the quarantine. And this is just my way of coping with everything. It's making stuff bright and shiny and blinged out. Because I am losing my mind. And I think this is the only way to make me feel better. So I think colors just make everybody feel better in glitter. So I've been so addicted to this Jayla Rose Slay Stat. I'm using the color White Gold. It's really a trans, almost like a transparent glitter it looks more of a color on camera but you can pretty much put this color on anything and you kind of can see the color under it but it's just a pretty ass color you were sing along, you got me elevated like I hit the bar. Double oh seven, man, a James Bond. Me wanna get that I feeling, something that give me that healing. Me I don't want to tire, so me I light up the fire. Me wanna get that feeling, something that give me that healing. Me I don't want to tire, so me I light up the fire. I. Yeah, let my want a bad man put a ring on it. Yeah. You're the only one me I really gotta think of. Trust me when I say you're the only one I feel for. Why for me, girl? Let my really try confuse me. For the money, me not flip on your herd. You, you got a thing that go crazy for a man. No, no. I got the money, so they sing for me, girl. Right, wow. Why for me, girl? She a wine for me, man. Yeah. No, lose so so far, this is how your eyes should look right now. If you get glitter fallout, don't worry about it. Just take a big old brush and just brush it away. This glitter really doesn't stick as bad as other glitters, so I can kind of wipe it off with a napkin. Nothing wet though, because then it may stick. But something that's a dry brush or a napkin and get it off. And we want to go back into our look and just touch up the areas that need touching up. So I was realizing I wasn't recording me actually moisturizing and priming my face. I do use moisturizer and primers before every makeup look. I put the info below. But let's focus on this foundation. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Foundation. No longer CoverGirl Queen. It's now called Full Spectrum. And I have mixed feelings about this foundation. I'm actually using the foundation and the powder in this actual video. So let me know below if you guys are using this, how you like it, and we can compare our feelings together, girl. Because I have some concerns about this foundation. Put it up till the morning, get my note that your mind so they be stalling. And I'll be always there to answer whenever you're calling. And you always hold me down whenever it's boring. So sexy when you think about I. We're going to keep it budget friendly, girl, and we can go back into this LA Girl Concealer and Fawn and go ahead and do our highlighting. I use a different brush in this video, and this is actually the brush I use on a normal basis. This is a soft, narrow type blending brush for concealer uses. I don't know the actual name of it, but that's what I call it. And basically, it takes way more time to do it this way, but I'm telling you this process and this technique to me looks so much more natural it looks so much better when you use a brush like this versus a beauty blender years ago i had problems with beauty blenders some of y'all know i did not know how to use them to save my life i still only use them when i'm rushing i don't really use them when i'm really trying to put on a nice face and go somewhere important but i will use a beauty blender if i'm just putting on an everyday face but i really love something about using a smaller brush just to do my concealer and highlighting to me it just applies better it looks smoother and it looks more complete versus rushing with the beauty blender but again i'm slow as hell i'm retarded i'm not a makeup artist so maybe i just don't know how to use a damn beauty blender after all of these years Bad man, them really can't stress up on me. I really wanna test man for it. Bad man, them really wanna test me man wanna for it. Me wanna get that feeling, something that give me that healing. Me I don't want to tire, so me I light up the fire. Me wanna get that feeling, 
So your girl got tired. I got tired of blending with that little ass brush. So I took this little beauty blender and blended my stuff out. Next we're going to go into our contour with this UVA Plays. And this color I think is number four. And we're going to add that with the contour brush, a smaller brush. And I think picking brushes that fit your features also work better together. So that's maybe why I struggle with a beauty blender because it's so wide. And my features are kind of narrow. In a way, I'm fat as hell but my face is kind of skinny. So it's really hard to work with wide brushes when your face got these little weird corners going on with it. Let go. It's the original, 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 original Batman. So we're gonna take a powder that's more of a natural color. I don't want nothing too highlight because I feel like I have a lot going on with my eyeshadow already. So this color is medium deep. It is so pretty. It has a slight glow to it. It's not matte. So I feel like this was appropriate for this look without making it look so dramatic. So we're going to set our contour with this CoverGirl Queen Bronzer in Ebony. Y'all know the deal. I absolutely love this powder. And it's very budget friendly. I can tell me nothing. If y'all only knew how much I dreaded putting eyeliner on, y'all, I don't know what the hell I be doing. Like, it's really a struggle. Like, this literally took me 30 minutes. Like, for real. I just wanted to give up, skip this part. But you know what? Hey, I had to go ahead and post it and face my fears. I took it eyeliner. Don't ask me no questions. Don't do nothing. You DM me about some eyeliner, I'm going to block you. That's how deeply I feel and hate eyeliner. I just can't do it. I be so jealous of y'all putting this on with your eyes closed. I don't know how y'all be doing it. It is really a skill, and I do not possess that skill at all. So we're going to move right along. Next we're going to go back into the berries palette and take whichever glitter color in the palette that you like. I just chose this one and we're going to line the bottom of our eye with it just to complete the eye. On the cruise control, let the vibes come true, let's make a move on. I them really wanna stress up on me. So after I add this blush by LA Girl, we're just gonna go in with some eyelashes. These are some raggedy like eyelashes. I'm not reusing no eyelash for no video, no quarantine. So this is what y'all gonna get. And our powder is gonna be the same collection full spectrum powder. This is deep neutral, I believe. The color I put it below, and we're gonna set our entire face. Then we're gonna top our face off with some hot. The lip gloss that I chose is by Nika K from the hair store. I think this color is called Diamonds. It's just a translucent glitter gloss. I think it's really pretty. I really didn't know what else to do with my lips besides just go with the gloss. So that's what we're going to do. This is the final look, y'all. My camera died, so I didn't get the end of it. But here are some pictures of the look. Let me know how you enjoyed it. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in the next video.